Welcome back to Blast Stories, and today we're going to talk about this, my beard. I'll explain how it happened, and then how it was to start actually walking around with it. Uh, I have to say that I'm really excited and delighted to finally make this episode, because the amount of people that are asking me to explain this, and are just like strangers that are really want to know and ask me for it is really big and um, sometimes it's like in the middle of a party or an event and uh, it's not that comfortable to give you the full like 10-15 minute story uh, sometimes after two people that asked for it that same event I just can't be asked saying it again so this video is meant exactly exactly for this purpose of um, of giving you the full story and you being able to hear it whenever it is comfortable for you. So, uh, it all started many years ago in a distant land at a regional burn event called the Contra Burn. Uh, I was just having fun walking around minding my own business when all of a sudden I see this dude. He had a beard that was about this long, just half of it. And I have to tell you, I was shocked. I, I couldn't stop looking at him. I, I walked a bit, a bit to his left. I walked a bit to his right. It was like looking at two different faces. Um, eventually, I just came up to him and I told him, dude, I fucking love this. I can't stop looking at you. It tri trips the shit out of me. Thank you. And all he said in return is, um, would you like one too? And I said, yes, because I also can't say no at a burn. Uh, but I did understand that this is going to be like a meaningful and intense experience, you know? Not only the shaving of it, but also just walking around with it. So uh, uh, every meaningful experience, I would like to make even more powerful with acid. That's the best way, at least in my opinion. And uh, so I told him, yes, but I prefer we do it tomorrow when I'll be on acid. And he said, sure, whatever you prefer. And then on the next day when I was on acid, I couldn't find him. You know, uh, classic. Some of you might have seen this coming. Uh, but I really did want to do it, okay? I, I told him I do, I really wanted to make it happen. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't know the guy's name, camp, nothing. I didn't know anything about him except the fact that he has half a beard. So uh, eventually before the next burn event, uh, I decided to post in like this group which has more than 20,000 people in it that um, I'm looking for the half Olympic god, half alpha male men, half smooth as a baby, half rugged as Siberian lumberjack. Can you please refer me to the guy that only shaves half? That's exactly what I said. And eventually someone did tag him. And it worked. Uh, his name was Kfir. And I was able to contact him. And I told him, dude, remember me? I was looking all over for you. And, and he said, dude, I was looking for you. And we were really happy that like we found each other. And we decided that we're not going to have any mistakes next time. And uh, we set a, a specific day and time and place that we're going to meet up and, uh, and do it. And, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, and I decided also that I'm not gonna do acid before uh, the shaving because that might like fuck it up again. I'll, I'll just do the acid after and, and I'll just enjoy walking around with the half beard on acid. So it's all good. Um, and on the next burn event, uh, I arrived to the designated place at the designated time and fear was ready. Okay, at first he gave me and all the friends that came with me like pink bandanas, you know, we were like a, like a posse. And then he took out a chair to the middle of the playa and he told me to sit on it. Then uh, he let me choose between two different aprons. Uh, I, I think I chose like the pirate one. And the second one he let my friends hold above me like a Jewish hoopah. 
Okay, it was beautiful. It also made made it all look much more uh, ceremonial. Okay, and then he took a, out a book full of like little water tattoos, and we both cho chose a little pink papillon that uh, we put here. Okay, it was priceless. Really, <laughs> really fitting and funny. And, and only then he started the ceremony itself of like making the foam and then eventually shaving me with a straight razor, okay? I've never been shaved with a straight razor in my life. Uh, it's an experience on its own, okay? Uh, and one of the reasons I didn't take the acid uh, for the ceremony is because I thought that uh, ketamine might be even a better choice, you know, because it will chew, it will like change all the physical aspect of it. So I did ketamine and it was really weird and cool doing it at the ceremony. Um, so, so that's how it happened. And um, it, it was a beautiful ceremony. Uh, I'm actually wearing the exact same thing that I wore when it happened. It's my uh, gumball machine uh, dress which I really, really love, and um, it was beautiful, amazing, exactly how I wanted it to be. But then, after the burn, I got home, okay? And on the next day, I knew that I need to go to the office. And, uh, and really, when, when I did all the like ceremony and walking around with the half beard, I didn't think for one second that I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I'm working in a really like straightforward job and there's a strict dress code of buttoned up shirts and like long pants. I knew that like showing up like this is, is not cool. I knew that like before I'll go to the office tomorrow, I'll just shave it off and, and like didn't think for a second that I'll keep it. But then I remember the exact moment of me standing in front of the mirror and like ready to shave the other half off. And then I was thinking for the first time, wait, how, how does Kfir go to work? Does he have a job? Like, like, how does he live like this? So I had to find out and, um, and I called him. This time I had his uh, contact details. And I asked him, dude, how, how do you live like this? Like, do you have an office that you need to go to? How does it work? And he told me that uh, the first time he did it, he told himself, I'm just going to do it for one day. You know, one day, whatever happens, happens. Uh, whether people will make fun of me or like think it's stupid, doesn't matter. It's just one day. It, we will all look back and remember that one day that, uh, that I sh you showed up with half a beer to work or whatever. It will be just funny, you know? And, it, uh, and he said that on that one day, all the reactions were good, nobody said anything like bad, everyone liked it or thought it's unique, and then he did it another day and another day, and that's how it started. And I thought, you know what, you're right, what's, what's the big deal, it's just one day, whatever happens, happens, and it convinced me. And on the next day, I went to work really anxious, okay? I looked like this, okay? Um, and uh, just like it happened for Kfir, it happened for me. Uh, all the reactions were good, people thought it's interesting, funny, unique, nobody said anything mean or negative. And I thought, okay, awesome. Uh, I'll at least keep it until the weekend, because I really wanted to show up to family dinner like this, okay? Uh, so the days went on until Tuesday, okay? Now what happened on Tuesday is that on Wednesday I was supposed to have a big meeting with all the CEO, CFO, all the management of the company and me. And uh, the day before on Tuesday my boss called me up to her office and told me listen in the meeting tomorrow the the VP the VP of human resources is is going to be there and I really think she's not going to like it so I'm just telling it to you but you do whatever you want now whether it's true or not 
uh, it doesn't matter. Just the fact that my boss called me up to her office to tell me just that made me feel really uncomfortable with it. You know, maybe maybe my boss will look bad because her employee shows up like this. I was really like concerned and anxious, so I decided uh, to call my mentor to call Fear. And uh, I explained this, the situation to him. Um, I also knew that one of the CEOs that is going to be there doesn't like it. Okay, and uh, Kfir told me, "Listen, it's not it's not worth getting fired for or whatever." But he also explained to me a bit more about about his like ideology about it. He told me that he never calls it half beard. He never calls it half half. He always calls it both. It's both a beard and it's both totally like shaved uh, face. Both are fine to go to work with, okay? Um, that's why he always also like shaves the other half. He always keeps it clean. And, and it convinced me. I, I said, you're right. It's both. Fuck it. Uh, and, and what I did is like just shave the other half, kept it clean and went to work. Okay, now <laughs> on the next morning, I'm going to the meeting, and uh, just like on all the video calls that happened during those days, I was trying to keep the bearded half towards the camera, you know, or towards the people to make it a bit less intense, you know. And immediately at the start of the meeting, the, the guy that I knew that doesn't like it uh, turns to the CEO of the company and tells him, say, did, did you see this? And, and the, at that point, the CEO didn't notice it. But then he looked at me and he was like, oh, whoa, whoa, um, interesting, interesting. And then the guy that doesn't like it turned to the CFO, which is the boss of my boss, and told him, okay, and did you, did you see this? And the CEO said, yeah, um, I think it shows creativity. <laughs> and, the, and the bad CEO says, oh, that's what you think, you know, like super passive aggressive. And then during all that time, I was like really embarrassed and saying like, it's only in just just until the end of the weekend. I just want to show up, show up, show up to like family dinner to, like this, like, you know, really embarrassed and trying to keep it low, which was true. Uh, and at the end of the week, I did take it off. Uh, it took me some time until I, I had enough courage to get back to it, but, uh, but I love it. It's really fun and I recommend it to everyone. Uh, if you have the balls to actually try it, even for one day, even for an event or a party or a burn, whatever, just uh, say it in the comments below and Kfir will be happy to do it. Like it's his thing, really. It will make him a lot of joy. Um, and on that weekend of the first week I had it on, I showed up to, to my family dinner like this. And I really wanted to like video the reactions of uh, my grandma and my family. So I asked my brother to be ready with the camera when, when I'll get into the house. So um, that's exactly the video I'm gonna show you at the end of this one. Uh, I personally think that the look of pure disappointment on my uh, grandma's face is just priceless. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna post the the translation of what's actually being said in the first comment below. So enjoy. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,